Only two weeks are left in the high school football regular season. Teams trying to make their final push for the playoffs. With the help of sports photographer Andy Coates, these are the top five plays from Week 10. One, two, three, ten, ten weeks down in the season and we're counting down the most exciting plays from Friday night. If you can't handle it, we'll handle it. You better believe we can handle the challenge. Done a much better job. We're putting plays together. You understand what I'm saying? We understand that everyone wants to be number one. They even tried to tell us in person. Snap, hold, kick, and let's go. It's week 10. And it's time for the top five plays. Number five, Reynolds on the road at McDowell. Rockets quarterback Tevin Stafford has liftoff. Perfect pass down the field to Stone Fenceloff. 35-yard touchdown pass. Stafford throws for 258 yards and six touchdowns. Reynolds beats McDowell 72 to 41. Number four, Tuscola hosting West Henderson. Parker Allen launches the ball towards the end zone. It's tipped by a West Henderson defender and right into the hands of receiver Damon McDaniels, who snatches the football out of midair and then refuses to go down to the ground. That would set up a touchdown later in the drive, but Tuscola falls to West Henderson 23-21 on a controversial call. Number three, Robbinsville on the road at Hayesville. Black Knights quarterback Skylar Matheson rolls towards the near sideline, splits a pair of defenders, and then hits the turbo button along the hash marks. 60-yard run to the house. Matheson racks up 326 yards of total offense. Robbinsville improves to 9-0, beating Hayesville 49-23. Number two, Irwin visiting North Buncombe. First offensive possession for the Warriors, Damian Ferguson uses the pump fake and then uncorks a laser beam right into the hands of Chase Austin, who makes the difficult catch with a defender draped all over him. Chase Austin makes nine catches for 162 yards in the game. Irwin improves to 9-0, beating North Buncombe 45-14. Number one, Owen hosting Hendersonville. The lights go out three different times in this game, but the electricity was all over the field. In the second quarter, Owen leading by one point. When Jagger Gardner fields the kickoff at his own seven-yard line, makes a few moves and goes 93 yards for the touchdown, Gardner also had 272 rushing yards, and he did all that with a broken left hand. Owen improves to 9-0, beating Hendersonville 57-54. And that's your look at sports. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great start to your day. I'm Luke Notstein for News 13 Sports.